Hello guys and how are you doing today? I'm currently at the 5 Carries Terminal in Lagos, Nigeria and I'm about to show you the latest mode of transportation in Lagos. It's water transportation and I'm currently at this place and we're going to be doing a walkthrough of it. So let's go in. Living and working in a city like Lagos, which has a population of over 20 million people, the speed at which goods and services are moved around has a big effect on how fast the mega city will develop. The roads are so small, so traffic jams are very common. New developments like the rail line which is being built should increase the efficiency in the movement of goods and services from one point to the other. I took a trip down to the Five Cowries building which is a newly built public jetty to check out what really happens there. It's a new water transport system created by the Lagos State Government to help move people from one place to the other. Walking into the Laswa Jetty for the first time, I noticed the outstanding design. There is also a beautiful glass facade that reflects light from the sun and gives beauty to this building. From the entrance, they have a ticketing booth which is where you get your tickets from. You can then head to the departure terminal till your boat is ready. To use the boat service, you have to get a ticket at the ticketing booth which is a flat fee of 600 naira to any location. There's also a kiosk where you can get food. So currently if you're trying to wait for like your boat and your, your boat is not yet here because this is where the boats come in you can just come and sit down here and chill and probably grab a drink or something. A lot of people that came for their boats they are currently outside so. Boats from here take people to destinations like Owonun, Shoki, Aja, Ikorodu and I'm guessing a lot more. The departure terminal is also pretty cool with some art installations swinging above you. This place can be used for a small party as the building design is pretty dope and it has an amazing waterfront. Walked into the toilet because I had to keep my hands clean from Corona. The taps had motion control so you don't need to touch them which prevents the spread of germs which is very important in the current times we're living in today. When the boat arrives you wear your life jacket and you board the boat to your destination. The distance of travel from here to your destination if you're using the ferry service will take considerably lesser time than if you're driving on the road. According to Laswa, on a daily basis they move between 70,000 and 100,000 people on the waterways. So from here if my boat has arrived I can easily just walk outside and there's a bar around that spot right there where you can chill and behind me is the Falomo Bridge that leads to Ikoi. So if you're going from here like this, you're going to Ikoi, and then this other side leads to Victoria Island. See how beautiful that sunset is. There's a sun about to set now, and it's really, really dope out here. And then there are boats behind me at my back that you can probably enter. They're called the Lag Ferries. They have these nice boats here. I'm surprised we have nice boats like this. I know there are some of them that look like they are not so dope. You <laughs> know Lagos now, but we also have some that actually are really really dope that like you can actually enter and I'm sure will probably be comfortable. A lot of people are wearing life jackets so before you can pass through this barrier you need to carry a life jacket. Another awesome side attraction to this jetty is the W bar which is a great place to relax if you are waiting on your boat. It's a seaside bar with a very nice location and an awesome view of Victoria Island. So guys, currently I'm at the bar now and I'm trying to get a drink. Um, I'm also trying to get some food so I'm probably going to eat and test out their food here. We went in to try the dishes and drinks. I had a Long Island which cost 3500 which was an okay pricing when compared to all other similar locations and then some barbecue chicken, wings and chips which cost around 3500 
got chicken with chips and I think this is um it has a lot of uh, toppings on it some vegetables so yeah so let me try it out now and see what it tastes like I also have some ketchup here it's dope man Thank you. The food was really great and averagely priced for a night out. The space had a really nice ambience with cool music. My review of the bar is that it's a great location to relax after work to prevent being stuck in Lagos traffic. The fact that a beautiful jetty that can take you to your destination is just beside it also complements it. What are you filming bro? The, the people going into the uh, Boto Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, it's cruisy You know, it's very planned You, you know how much you said Boti? No 600 now to, to, to anywhere How far is it? To anywhere So you just go that's, that's, That makes sense now mm. Yeah? Mm, okay, okay. That's why I like it too I like the food It makes sense Should we end that one? Should we end that one? Go to see something now. Yes, so no, my, two, my two. Let's go now. We can go. You have brought me out. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's be going. My view is that the existence of this infrastructure is a welcome development. I believe more infrastructures like this should be built and maintained for the long term so as to ease the headache of moving from one place to the other. I saw a lot of professionals who had just left work getting onto the boats and heading to their destination. Not having to spend hours in traffic must be refreshing. With the recent ban on Okadas, more alternative means of speedy transportation should be provided for the average Lagosian. A popular city like Lagos should have efficient transport systems which would increase the movement of goods and services around town, which would in turn lead to an increase in state revenue and rapid development. Heavy and bulky goods can also be transported easily at little cost through water transport. It has the largest carrying capacity and it is most suitable for carrying bulky goods over long distances. Lagos is also composed of large water bodies which makes water transport a very reliable alternative. I'm happy about this addition to Lagos and I'm currently looking forward to more improvements like this. Thanks for watching. If you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also don't forget to hit the notification bell so YouTube can notify you anytime I drop a new video. See you guys in the next video. Peace.